you probably won't be surprised to hear that the food in a typical United States prison is terrible. Oh my God. <laughs> but you might be shocked by just how bad it is. From causing foodborne illnesses to lacking nutrients and including disgusting, unsanitary things, food in prison is no laughing matter. Why is the food in prison so unbelievably awful? What does it have to do with dog food? How much do prisons spend on food per inmate? And how can inmates cook for themselves? Be glad you may never have to eat it and stay tuned to find out the ugly truth behind prison food. This is how you'd eat in a US prison. Okay, nobody wants to go to jail and the whole point is that it isn't a fun place to be. More than two million people are incarcerated in the United States. Do you know that the amount and quality of food are some of the biggest issues prisoners face in the US? While no one expects five-star cuisine behind bars, the food served to incarcerated people is inhumane. So if you ever found yourself behind bars, what would you eat? While it changes from prison to prison, a typical breakfast might include a small box of cereal with 2% milk, a can of fruit, and maybe a biscuit with something resembling gravy. One prison reported serving a cup of oatmeal and half an egg to inmates. If you're lucky enough to be in a facility that serves lunch, you'd probably get a slice of bologna between two pieces of white bread and a small bag of chips. You might get a slice of frozen pizza, fried rice with chicken livers, and some canned vegetables for dinner. Also, don't expect a different diet if you have health issues like celiac disease or are lactose intolerant. What the prison gives you is what you eat, even if it makes you sick. And chances are, you would get sick. If you consider the foods we just talked about, you'll notice a trend. They're all highly processed, mainly carbohydrates, and contain a lot of sodium. With practically no fresh fruit or vegetables, you wouldn't get the vitamins or minerals your body needs to stay healthy. Inmates in the US have some of the highest rates of diabetes, heart disease, and weight gain. But why is the food so bad? Well, because it's cheap. Prisons work hard to spend as little as possible per inmate. In 2018, Wisconsin reported spending $1.02 per inmate per day on food, and states on the highest end of the scale spent just over $4, not per meal, per day. If you think that's bad, brace yourself. We're just getting started. As you might imagine, the less the food costs, the lower its quality. Because prisons don't care about inmates' health, there are no quality control or food safety measures. A 2018 study reported over 66% of incarcerated people found mold, bugs, and feces in their food. The study states that kitchen staff had to cook meat labeled not for human consumption and include the soy filler commonly found in dog and horse food. There are frequent outbreaks of foodborne illnesses like salmonella, leading to severe food poisoning that caused over 20,000 sicknesses and five deaths. Because eating food from the kitchen is so dangerous, inmates have resorted to making their meals from whatever they can get at the commissary, which usually includes packaged ramen. They've made ramen into sandwiches, added it to cans of beans, and even turned it into a kind of pizza. There are some signs of positive change, however. In 2019, prisoners at the Mountain View Correctional Facility in Maine planted fruit trees and a huge vegetable garden. It gives them vital nutrients and teaches them to grow and harvest food. Gardening programs like this have begun popping up all over the country. They provide better nutrition for inmates, raise morale, and give incarcerated people a sense of purpose. However you feel about prisons, food is a human right. If you're hungry for more controversial food stories, check out the MSG Conspiracy on another episode of Origins of Food.